how to mix vocals specifically for future bass and EDM, but really just in general too. So here what we have is a vocal that I have picked from a royalty free sample pack on Splice and this is what it sounds like just with nothing on it. I'm losing myself, I'm losing, I'm losing myself tonight. I'm gonna load up an EQ. So off the bat, I'm filtering out anything that's under 150 to 200 really. I'm putting up this bandwidth, gonna make it a steep 8. I'm losing myself, I'm losing, I'm losing myself tonight. Basically what we are trying to accomplish here is take out all the lower frequencies without really even making it so that you could notice it in the actual vocal file. Cause you just want to take out these pesky frequencies down here. Up next you're going to want to take these middle five bands, you're going to want to drop the bandwidth down to zero. And what we're about to do right now is called frequency sweeping. I'm losing we're gonna raise these up really high and listen for frequencies that kind of ring in our ears and don't sound good. You'll know when you hear it. I'm losing myself, I'm losing, I'm losing myself tonight. You can see this is pretty problematic over here. So we're gonna drop this about 5 to 6 dB. I'm losing myself, I'm losing. You might want to raise the bandwidth at this point just a little bit, maybe like 5-10%. Again, this is all preference. Myself tonight. So I know what you're thinking. Those S sounds are sounding a little harsh. What do we do about that? You have Maximus, which is a great plugin for many, many different things, but they have a great de-essing preset. It's de split band. So basically what we're going to do here, we're going to raise this pre-gain until we start seeing the transients from the S's kind of hit in the middle of this graph right here, and then we're going to lower the post-gain by the same amount. I'm losing myself, I'm losing, I'm losing myself tonight. I'm losing myself, I'm losing, I'm losing. You can hear as I lower it, the S's start to get less and less harsh. I'm losing myself tonight. Great. So, just to go over what we've done this part, I'm going to play it without these two EQs that we've done. I'm losing myself, I'm losing. Once we add the first EQ. I'm losing myself, I'm losing, I'm losing myself tonight. Once we add the de -esser. I'm losing myself, I'm losing. I'm losing myself tonight. Up next, we're going to talk about compression. Really, it's to make sure that the volume throughout the entire vocal is consistent. As you can see in the sample pack vocal, it is pretty consistent, but we have a few peaks here and there we're going to address. So we're going to load up actually a fruity limiter. Put on the compressor. You know, Actually, off the bat, we're, we're just going to limit these peaks right here. So really, we're just going to drop the ceiling down. I'm losing myself, I'm losing. I'm losing myself tonight. So we're just lowering the peaks. These are just, this is not to compress the entire vocal. These are just for these weird peaks that are just kind of hidden where we don't want them to. I'm losing myself, I'm losing. Up next, I'm gonna put another limiter and then we're gonna use the compressor function. So when you're compressing, you really wanna put the threshold right in the middle of where your vocal is, like where the meat of it is. You wanna put it in the, at the average volume. And then I'm gonna put the ratio up about three. Three to four is usually where you're gonna look at for a vocal. I'm losing myself, I'm losing, I'm losing myself tonight. Losing myself, I'm losing, I'm losing myself tonight. This green right here is basically our final product. I'm losing myself, I'm losing. Okay, up next we're going to talk about FX. Now, it sounds really good, but it sounds kind of dry if you listen to it. I'm losing myself, I'm losing. I'm going to throw on a fruity reverb too. And what I'm going to do here, I'm going to make the size put around 60. Again, this is also personal preference. I'm going to turn the low cut up because I don't really want to echo the lower frequencies because that just makes the vocal sound muddy. I'm going to raise the high cut a little bit. And then we're going to put the decay at like two and a half, three seconds. Losing myself, I'm losing. I'm losing myself. I'm going to stereo separate the reverb a little bit as well. I'm losing myself, I'm losing. Now I'm going to add on a delay, and I'm going to use Fruity Delay 2 for this. I'm going to put on Ping Pong, because that's going to give it that cool stereo effect. And I'm going to put the input about three quarters of the way, so it starts kind of to the right and to the left and goes back and forth. And then I'm going to put the time on four, so the reverb happens on beat. I'm losing myself, I'm losing, I'm losing myself, I'm losing, 
Cool thing about fruity delays, you also have this cutoff frequency effect, which you can use to kind of lower it, lower the cutoff, and then make it less, uh, interfere less with the lead vocal. I'm losing myself, I'm losing, I'm losing myself tonight. So yeah, that's really it as far as vocals for EDM. Hopefully you learned something from this today, and I'll see you guys next time.